Hello there and welcome to this tutorial on how to set up a headless Raspberry Pi. This will all be done with either keyboard, mouse or screen connected to the Pi and in this video we'll be covering everything you need to know on how to get your Raspberry Pi up and running which includes installing the Raspberry Pi OS, connecting via SSH, some basic initial configuration and how to access via VNC. Um, first off, I'm going to um, I've installed Raspberry Pi Imager on my um, Mac laptop, and I'm going to um, select an operating system um, to to install onto my SD card which I've got plugged in. The um, Raspberry Pi 32-bit OS is the um, one I tend to choose, um, and then go through the settings um, and change things like the host name, enabling SSH. Um, setting up the password for the Pi user uh, and finally um, configuring um, and setting up the uh, wireless um, settings. This will make sure that when the Raspberry Pi OS is installed on my SD card that um, it can boot up, connect to my wireless and can be remotely connected to um, all in one foul sweep. So then you can start making changes to it. So here I am, I'm, I'm selecting the SD card and finally going to, to press on right. Um, you do get asked for um, credentials on a Mac, not sure on a PC, but you need to give that a go yourself if you're running on a, on a PC. Um, this whole process probably takes 10 minutes to write and then a further 10 minutes to verify. Um, so now's a good time to go and grab um, a cup of tea um, whilst that's all going through. I've just um, fast forwarded um, this a little bit um, and then the last message you'll receive is to say that you can carry on because it's ejected the um, SD card. So here we have my Raspberry Pi and I've got the micro SD card which has got the um, operating system copied onto it. I'm just going to pop it into um, the Raspberry Pi. Um, and then I'm going to install the lid onto my Raspberry Pi. Uh, this little uh, kit was all from um, OKDo, which is a really um, useful source and um, appears to have Raspberry Pi 4s, 4 gigs available as kits. Um, I've just plugged in the, um, the power cable um, and this is starting to boot up. And so what I'll do um, shortly is move over back to my uh, Mac laptop um, and start pinging the Raspberry Pi um, and at first the Raspberry Pi is not connected to my wireless um, so it's, uh, it's coming up as an unknown host and I'll do this a few times uh, until I get an IP address response and then um, I can cancel that with a control and C um, and then um, go on an SSH to the device. That's it, here we go. IP address connection, control C, disconnect, and now I'm going to SSH to the host name that I selected earlier. Um, connect yes to um, to authenticate, and I just realized that um, I didn't select the Raspberry Pi Pi user. So I'm just going to cancel that and go through, um, edit this by adding Pi and an app before the host name, um, and then type in my password and I should be connected yet. Yeah, here we go. So first things first, I'm going to do a sudo apt get in uh, upgrade, no update, sorry. Um, what this does is it updates the list of um, packages that are available to my Pi. Um, and that's so that um, when I do a sudo apt get upgrade next, that um, it will be able to gather the latest and greatest package and make sure I've got the latest version installed on my Pi um, and get that all kind of nicely installed. So here I am doing that right now. Again, the um, this process takes uh, for 15 minutes or so, or did on my device. Um, your bandwidth and broadband may um, impact the amount of time this takes. So um, if, you've, uh, if you've finished your first cup of tea, now's a good time to go and grab your uh, second brew. Um, and I'll come back to that once it's completed. So now the um, packages are all concluded. 
next thing to do is to um, get VNC um, up and running. And the easiest way to do this is through the um, Raspberry Pi config page. Um, and it's just a case of typing in that command, um, going into interface options and enabling VNC server. Um, then to avoid a, a further issue, you want to go into the, um, to auto log in onto the desktop and that auto logs in as the Pi user. Um, not the most secure um, thing. So you only want to do this on a private network, um, i.e. your home network. Um, but um, it's really, um, it's kind of nice and easy and, and, and useful thing to, to be able to do. So again, I'm going to go back to ping in the device uh, until that's showing up and available. Then once it's um, all up and running, I'll um, also do an SSH uh, connection. Um, so it gives me a good indication the operating system's up and running, and which it is, here we go. And then finally, I'm going to um, go and, yes, so SSH to the device. But then finally, once that, uh, once I've SSH'd onto it, I will then go and using VNC server, no, so VNC viewer, VNC servers on the Pi, VNC ser servers on the Pi, VNC viewers on my laptop, which I've already installed. Um, I'm going to connect to the raspberry, raspberry.localhost um, just to prove that the VNC connection all works. Um, again, need to pop in my Pi username and password. I like to tick remember password so I don't have to do this too many times. And there you go, there's a uh, VNC desktop um, up and running, um, all in. I think this whole process from start to finish probably takes around 30, 40 minutes, um, but doesn't require a an external monitor, doesn't require a keyboard and mouse. Um, and there we have my Pi um, ready for use. Um, all of this uh, process that I've walked through is available on a blog post um, which is uh, headforspace.com. Um, the um, links, I'll include links in the notes um, for the video. Um, so if you want to follow any of that, um, then you can do um, from that website. Okay, well, thanks for watching uh, and I hope to see you again here sometime soon. All right, cheers, bye.